Yo, before y'all even say something, I already know what y'all thinking. Damn! What the hell is going on with your head, k -more? Well, I'm here to tell you. This is the story on how I got my hair transplant. Let's get it. Yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, k -more. Kind of really hate saying that phrase. It's your boy. Oh, that's kind of corny, but yeah, I have a trip coming up to Turkey. Um, and if you're wondering why my head looks so shiny, because this is the reason why I gotta go to Turkey. Uh, your boy is losing his hair, you know, as in going bald. So I'm going to tur Turkey, Turkey, to get a procedure done. Pretty much get a hair transplant. And yeah, man, I'm very excited about it. So this is the first video that I'm creating for. And to be honest with you, I'm very insecure about it. Um, you know, insecure about like, you know, what people may think and everything. But I have to understand, like, this is normal. People do this all the time. But it's just the me, myself. And like, yo, like people are going to know that you're losing your hair. People are going to know. So I'm getting over that. That's why I'm making this video, actually. You know, I was just like, bro, just make a video. Like, you know, these are your, your people, you know, community. You guys fuck with me. So, yeah. So, um, I'm going to take you guys on a journey of me um, getting this hair procedure done. And, yeah, let's see how it goes, man. Let's see how it goes. You know, I'm praying for a safe trip, praying for a safe procedure. It's going to be surgery. Um and mainly I'm praying that my goddamn hair grows back. Cause damn, this is ridiculous. You see this? Play ball on this behind playing no. Sacrifices, long nights, moving with the wind. I was steady taking place, yeah. It paid off, paid off. It okay, paid so off, yeah, paid off. just had a 10 hour flight landed in Amsterdam first. That's the first stop, my layover, four hours. And then that's when I'm in Istanbul. It's Istanbul, I keep getting it wrong. Um, Turkey, I'll just say Turkey. So four hours to Turkey. Uh, yeah, pretty tired. Flight was long, I think it was the longest flight I've ever been on. And yeah, I'm exhausted. So, just giving you guys the update. Uh, she'll be in Turkey soon. Uh, keep you guys updated on the procedure. So, for the most part, you know, I finally landed in Turkey, Istanbul. So, you know, I'm just sitting here waiting. And then, you know, uh, they they have a car service for you, boy. So, you know, I finally get that thing, you know, finally get up in there. It was an amazing car service. It was really nice on the inside, really dope. Um, I really appreciate that for them uh, doing that. You know, shout out to them. Uh, so that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Uh, that was a dope experience. All right, all right, all right. So um, after my first night, once I got to Turkey, uh, Istanbul, I just went to sleep, got some rest, came to my hotel room, and that was it. Now I'm up for breakfast. And yo, they got a full course breakfast here. Like everything is up in this piece. So I'm about to enjoy this food. Um, yeah, it's pretty much about to eat. Just go crazy, just go in. But I can tell you, I have been seeing a lot of people walk around with uh, like head wraps as far as in like uh, bandages. So a lot of motherfuckers got uh, hair transplantations, uh, transplantations out here, like a lot. Like every time I walk around, I see motherfuckers like this. Like, I told you, every time I walk around, I see somebody with that on. Like, so yeah, I ain't the only one. So, I am walking around. Um, I always get this the name wrong every time. It's Istanbul. It's Istanbul. 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 I always get this wrong. Uh, right now, I'm about to head to the doctor's office. Uh, is this where the procedure is going to be done? Yeah, at? exactly. Okay, great, great. 
Um, you guys can see Turkey, Yusuf, Istanbul. Uh, just had some amazing food. So far, so good. Everything here has been great. Um, the surgery will be done tomorrow. Very nervous and I'm very excited at the same time. Uh, been seeing a lot of people, like I said, that um, that has it, and yeah, it's gonna be interesting. So, right now we are in the office, um, well, pretty much the hallway. But I was just told that that is where my procedure is gonna be done at in this room right here. Um, so yeah. No. So. I'm nervous, yeah. You can see it on my face. I'm nervous. I'm scared. But other than that, I'm just like, really am. You know, I've been wanting this for a long time. So. Yeah. This was the second session. That was the second yeah. session. With DHA again. Ah. Well. I'm looking forward to it. The bandage will only stay for tomorrow. Tomorrow? The next day we will take it. Okay, okay. okay. Great. Great. So, yeah, you know, I get there, and the first thing you have to do, they put you in this shirt. Like, you know, there's more of a, like, loose fit, so you don't really stain or mess up anything that you bring. So they ask you to just, like, you know, wear some more comfortable clothes, not, like, your best stuff. So, yeah, they got to get your boy naked. No, I'm just joking. Not all the way naked. But, yeah, the first thing is a shirt. I think the next thing that you got to do is uh yeah you know they got to check your blood you know they got to take blood from you and everything i think it may be just to see to make sure nothing is really wrong with you before they start the procedure so they just they're, they're just taking uh, all precaution before they just started and uh yeah man you know like i said you see your boy head man you know your boy was really losing his hair dog it was i was already on the deep end it was already bad you know y'all just didn't know so whoo jesus And yeah, like this is the point where they're just um, pretty much marking where um, the hair is going to be placed, moving my hairline up a little bit further. And yeah, just really where all the, the hair is going to be placed at. So they're going to take the hair from the back of my head, which they call the donor area, and apply it to the front. So that was pretty much what was going on right here, you know, just kind of taking the grass. And uh, yeah, um, after that, whew, God, my head looked bad. Uh, they shave your head. Yeah, they shave your entire head. Now, I won't lie to y'all. This is the main reason why I wanted to get a hair transplant. I don't want to be bald. So, you know, they got to shave my entire head. And I'll be honest with y'all. By the time they finish, I, I wasn't, you know, that sad. I actually don't look bad bald. But, you know, look at me. I'm just, you, you can tell what's going on in my head. I am sad as hell. Getting my head shaved, looking like my father. This is ridiculous. This is just sad. But yeah, you know. So after uh, the shaving, now it's time for the procedure. Whew, God, look at me. So the first thing, you know, of course you got to do, you got to lie on this uh, table. It's almost like a massage chair because you got to lay face down. And uh, man. Y'all, I'm very nervous at this point. Like, OD nervous. Just really scared. Don't know what's going on. Like, you know, people are talking over me. Uh, I'm not knowing what they're saying. You know, I don't speak Turkish. I think that's, you know, what the uh, the language is, Turkish. Uh, I, I'm just not knowing what's going on. Just very nervous right now. But uh, at the same time, excited, you know, to get started and really kind of be done with it. Because I was told there's going to be Six, seven by seven eight hour procedure so yeah i'm just like ready to get going at this point so yeah this is uh them taking out the grafts in the back of my head no actually i'm lying this is them putting the anesthesia inside of my head so my whole head could be numb and i'm gonna be real with y'all this is probably the most painful part out of the entire surgery that you got to get done i know at least for me Man, the anesthesia burned like hell when they were putting it in my head. But, you know, your boys are, you know, I'm a, I'm a warrior. I'm, I'm going to go through all that pain. But, yeah, this is probably the worst part. Other than that, I really couldn't feel too much during the procedure itself. Um, 
But yeah, this is what I was talking about as far as them taking out the grafts in the back of my head. So pretty much they're taking out little small hairs in the back of my head, the donut area where they're going to be taking out the hairs. And, you know, as you can see, I zoomed in for y'all, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, this is, you know, it, it, it's, it's not cute. So yeah, once they get done with that, um, that took about three whole hours. I needed a break, you know what I'm saying? So now they're going over once again, where the hair is gonna be placed. We're going over like, you know, what's the mission, what they wanna get complete. And I think I got about 4,500 grafts in my head to kind of cover up pretty much uh, around this area right here. Um, yeah, like all the way to like right here um, is where the grabs really stop. You know, you don't want to do a whole lot because, you know, you could be dealing with other things. Uh, I know, um, I think just for safety reason, you don't want to have a whole lot. Uh, I'm not sure the exact reason why, but yeah. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what's going on right here. You know, just them telling me um, where everything is going to be placed. Uh, at this point, man, I'm really out of it, dog. Like, <laughs> I just got done laying down for a whole three hours. My neck was really uncomfortable in that position for quite some time. But um, I was glad that part was over with. But it wasn't really too bad, though. It wasn't really too bad. Like I said, I couldn't feel anything being on the anesthesia. And yeah, just after that, you know, like I said, you know, I got a little break, uh, but uh, right after this, it's time. It's go time, you know. Uh, gotta go to the next room and get ready. Look at me trying to put on a fake smile. <laughs> yeah, so this is the, the part, you know, I, I don't know if I can fully show y'all, you know, uh, this is where they put the graphs in in the front. Uh, I don't have a real video, but this is pretty much the aftermath of them putting all the graphs pretty much in my head, man. And we're gonna zoom in. Like I told y'all, it's not that pretty. Yeah, it's not that pretty. But yeah, um, man, that part is over and pretty much the procedure is done. And you know, they put a bandage on my head. Look at me, I'm totally out, out of it, dog. And uh, at this point, he's just telling me, um, you know, just giving me like my care package pretty much. It comes with antibiotics, um, you know, pain medicine, uh, shampoo. Uh, that's the that's pretty much the antibiotics of what I had to take uh, every day. Um, and I think he's telling me right now, like, you know, you want to take one in the morning. You got two other pills you got to take with that. Then you take one at night. Uh, take one in the morning. Um, after you eat your breakfast and then one at night after you get done eating. Um, I had to do that for like 10 days uh, straight, um, pretty much. Uh, do that for the morning and um, at night. Uh, yeah, man, that was that was quite some, you know, going through that. Quite some for sure. Give you a closer look to it. My forehead is swollen, looks like somebody Kick me in the middle of my damn head. I like a damn alien. But yeah, um, that's how it looks so far. But yeah, all that juice and whatnot just been coming down from the back of my neck and getting onto my towel and to my covers. This is my forehead. Yo, my forehead is like a fucking, I like, I like I'm on Star Trek. Like, I look like some straight out of Star Wars or some shit. I want to get you to so yeah bro like they're just talking over me right now this is the them taking off the bandages as you can see i don't know what the hell are they saying and i'm just like totally out of it bro you can just look at my face and just tell uh my head is swollen as hell right now so yeah right now they're just washing my head that that was gonna have, uh, be happening the next day you know me getting my hair washed and yeah that's pretty much it like i said it wasn't really you know bad it was it was really cool the uh hospital they took great care of me and i'm also going to have the link uh to the doctor's um place um in my description i'm going to have that in my description as well um so i apologize if your name isn't coming right to my head but yeah right now this is just them uh doing the before and after pictures because you know when i come back in another 10 months yeah i gotta go back out there you know uh want to see the progress but yeah man like you know my guy right here he really took great care of me he really took great care of me look at my face y'all
My head is about swole as hell. <sighs> but yeah. Yeah, after that, I did deal with a lot of like swelling, man. It was, you know, really bad. But, um, you know, I had a little fun with it, you know. I had a little fun with the little swelling. Like, you know, I didn't want to, uh, you know, be down about it the entire time. But, um, yeah, this is pretty much a whole month later. And my hair has actually grown, you know. And But what I've been told, I think, is that the process where it's starting to fall out again. And that's normal. It's going to happen. So, uh, like, the first two months, you know, it is growing and it's falling out. And once you get to that fourth to fifth month, that's when the hair just starts going crazy. Uh, but, yeah, you know, like I said, it was it was pretty cool, man. Like, you know, shout out to the doctors. I'm definitely going to put their... Um, their links in my description. If you guys want to really check them out, they did a great job on me. Um, I was very excited and um, pretty much satisfied with my results. Uh, man, now I'm just waiting on the hair to grow. This is going to take a few months, but I'm definitely going to be keeping you guys updated on my process, on like, you know, the hair growing and everything like that, because I'm just as curious as y'all. I want to see how this is gonna look after a while. I want to have some jaw. I want to have some 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 Jaheen braids. You know what I'm saying? I wanna I wanna have some braids one day. Get some dreads. So you know, I, I'm really curious to see how the process goes. Uh, but yeah, you know, um, thank you guys for watching this video. Like I said, I'm gonna put the link in the description of the doctors. Uh, I felt like they did an amazing job. Um, it was in Turkey, Istanbul. Um, that was my first time ever being there, uh, and it was, I really had fun. I'm sorry I didn't get to show you guys a lot what it is that I did while I was there, but I really only had, like, one day, to be honest, to, like, really kind of move around and go places and, and stuff like that, and after that, I had to go to the office, and after that, it was time for the procedure, so pretty much after the procedure, I was out of it. You know, I couldn't really do too much walking around, too much moving. Um, so, yeah, this has been a month later. Um, I had to sit upright pretty much on a um, pillow for 10 days straight. After that, I was able to wear hats. I couldn't go outside for at least uh, about 10 days. Not like in a day, like I, 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 in a daylight, I couldn't really go outside. I was, you know, dealing with a few things, but you know, they always, uh, they're gonna let you know everything, what to do and what not to do. And uh, yeah, so, you know, I really listened to them. Um, really took my time and I feel amazing right now. I feel back to normal. This is uh, I think day 28 um, On it. So yeah, you know, it's it's gonna be a process man, you know um, Like I said, I was very insecure about doing it at first uh, But now I'm, I'm really happy and I'm happy that I could share this with you guys finally about my process of getting this done and I hope that you know if you guys um, this video really helped anyone who is curious about you know getting some like this done because i know i was definitely curious about it and it wasn't too many videos like that to help me so i uh, hope that this video helped you guys and you know um in the best way that it could but like i said i'm going to keep you guys updated so i'll be coming out with more videos probably like in a month uh, or two just to let you guys see you know how it's growing but this is pretty much how it looks right now um you know and i I'm seeing like even my hairline, like my hairline is like right here. At first, it was like all the way back here. So that is already an improvement. Um, for the most part, you're going to be wearing hats, you know, walking around this thing until the hair really grows. But yeah, thank you all for watching this video. There's a more to go. I'm out. Damn.